I am back. I know it has been forever since I filmed. Um, I'm probably your worst con content creator you follow ever. And you know, it is what it is. I'm just terrible at this. But anyways, I'm just coming back with an update and a few travel nurse tips that I've just decided to share over time based off of questions that were asked. Um, there's some things I could go in depth later on in another video, but I'm just kind of going to scroll through some things real quick. So update wise, I think the last time I posted, I was going to El Paso. I worked at Las Palmas Hospital. It was a crisis assignment, very interesting experience, but they have some really good food in El Paso. So I enjoyed myself, nice coworkers. The nurses were very welcoming. There was one doctor though that, you know, he could have caught these hands, but that's a whole other story. We're not going to talk about that. After that, I returned home. I think I was home maybe a month. And then I went to St. Thomas Virgin Islands and worked on a crisis assignment there. Had a great time. Um, I may elaborate on that later on. Um, I did post some stuff on my TikTok, so um, you can see some of that experience on TikTok. Um, I do plan to talk about it on YouTube. And excuse Ava, she clearly wants to be in the video as well. But um, long story short, um, I may, you know, I'll get more I'll talk more about that later um so after that I came home and then I went to Atlanta I was working at Emory Hospital not gonna talk much about them right now because I'm currently going back and so I'm a current employee and if you have watched the news they have no issue firing people who break their social media policy now of course I would not be talking about them in a negative light but as we know we have to be careful about what we say about these jobs because we do technically sign this uh, privacy disclosures and so on when we take these assignments and become employees at these facilities so with that being said my first tip is Going viral is not worth your job or your license. Please be very mindful of the jokes you make that could offend patients as well as what information you post and where you film at because outside looking in, in everyone else's mind, if we're at work, we should be working. So even though, of course, in reality, we're not always busy, we do have breaks, the first thing people watching say when they see us having fun at work is what what if there's a patient that's dying and they're over here making tiktoks of course in reality that's not what's happening but hey it is what it is so i know i already made a packing video of twice one about flying and one when i drove from experience it has now been two years of me traveling i realized you don't need all that and i'm telling myself this you don't need all that. I have been over packing probably almost every assignment. I've noticed that I'll get there and I don't wear half the clothes I bring. So I'm trying to do a better strategy. So this time I'm taking one suitcase, one like carry on size bag, and then one like plastic container to like keep bathroom items in and stuff like that, medications, etc. And then of course, I'll probably of course have some shoe boxes just because I, I wear a lot of tennis shoes and I don't want to like stuff on the inside of a bag um i've been to atlanta before so now i kind of have an idea of what i'll be doing there so i'm going to try to like plan outfits like you know brunch going out every day plus um just my typical work uniform of course so that is the plan and then at this point i'm like all else fails for whatever occasion you approach that you don't have you, like outfits for you can easily you know find something cheap order on shin real quick i don't know something because i don't know it's just really annoying to have to lug around all this stuff all right so another tip um a lot of people ask me about benefits i've encountered a lot of people like oh i want to try travel nursing but what about benefits so there's different ways you can approach it First, travel nurse companies do offer benefits, but the catch is that once your assignment ends, if you don't sign another contract within, I want to say a two month period or something like that, then your benefits will cut off. So then you're in a situation of being on and off benefits in between assignments. And then if you switch companies, it gets real complicated. So the route I chose to go and one that I suggest is doing things independently like for a retirement um yeah for my retirement benefits and stuff like that i went ahead and got a financial advisor and set up my stuff through there um now one thing to be mindful of um with when you're trying to do things independently they do look at health history and things like that so you can be denied so i would just kind of shop around different companies and see what their requirements are 
Um, I use Northwestern Mutual and one thing I encountered, I was not able to get short-term disability through the company that I use because I had a mental health history. Um, I talked about in a previous video when I had some suicidal ideation after losing my mom and basically because that is on my record, I didn't qualify for short-term disability. So that's something to consider um, for retirement and things like that. Short-term disability, all that stuff, long-term disability, there's a company that sells it, you can find it. Um, health insurance. Now, this one has been a kicker for me. So, I originally was going through healthcare marketplace, but this past year, I made too much income to where I lost my tax credit, and they were trying to charge me like $380 a month. Um, I thought about switching to my travel company's assignment, but I just have like different medications and things that I'm following up on health-wise. Um, I have a few conditions, not major, but I'm just in the middle of some things, so it's just not a good idea for me to um, not have steady insurance. So I have a few follow-up appointments that I'm going to have to do. So what I've decided to do, right now I have the healthcare marketplace, but uh, I was in a travel group on Facebook and there's plenty of those and they're like they're posting on there about private PPO insurance that's available um, so I've reached out to one of those guys who are selling private insurance and seeing if I qualify and seeing what the rates are so far it's looking pretty good and it's cheaper uh, the monthly premium is cheaper the deductible is lower and the copay is less because right now my specialist copay is a hundred dollars per visit and it hurts me every time I swipe the card it, it hurts me a little bit and even the secretary she's like whoo that's a high copay and I'm like don't remind me I know I know so that's just something to look into you can ask me more questions in the comments if you want more details on that and I can kind of shoot you out some recommendations um, on some people to talk to like my financial advisor he's always looking for new clients and I'll even hook you up with my insurance person so just you know let me know anyways next we're gonna talk about contract negotiation um, I have not got to get the finesse yet to really just get everything I want in a contract. I've seen people do amazing things there. I guess they have the gift of gap or they just know a little more, a bit more about, you know, the ins and outs. But one thing I can say is, the worst they can say is no. Ask and you shall receive or you may not, but worst they can say is no. Now, one method that I do know that works is competition. If you find another company and you can get a hold of their contract breakdown, either from a traveler or just reaching out to a recruiter and showing your recruiter like, hey, them over there, they doing this. So what's up? That actually worked for me. So I, um, you know, so I got this contract at Emory through AMN and I got an email from PHP same hospital, same position, and the pay was higher. So I emailed back PHP, like, hey, can you give me more information with this contract? Like, what's the, the per diem rate and the hourly and so on and so forth? So I compared it, and they were, like, paying a little bit more of the tax-free stipend money and stuff like that. So I talked to my recruiter, like, hey. And I showed her the information. I also looked on GSA, which is the government website that talks about the uh, per diem standards for different areas. And basically, I came at her with some data, and she was very open and fine with talking to her people, and we got my contract adjusted. So that's just a tip there. Like, um, come come with some data, come with some backup, a little receipt, a little evidence, and you're more likely to get what you want. Another thing I get asked a lot is, who pays the highest? What's the best company to work with? And to be honest, that varies from day to day. It depends on who has what. Uh, I know, for example, AMN has a lot of coverage. It's kind of a big umbrella company with a lot of companies under it. So they can almost get you anywhere you want. PHP has a lot of the Atlanta area contracts and so on and so forth. So like some companies are better in different regions. Um, some companies do more um, crisis or, you know, strike contract like things like u.s nursing has the strikes pro lincoln maximum and snap nurse i think they do a lot of the crisis but i will say the high paying ones it's literally luck of the draw like you just kind of they just kind of pop up and you just got to be ready um it's not like it was you know mid-pandemic where everybody was in crisis everybody was paying COVID rate right now it's just the pay is coming down it's, it's normalizing again but also don't let that you know convince you to take no you know short 
not worth it contract. Like, you know, don't 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 play yourself on your money. But just know that it's not gonna be the ten Ks, the eight Ks. And if it is, it's probably something going on and it's gonna be like a real jump on the type of thing. So basically to find out who pays more, you just have to shop around. Like it's annoying filling out like the profiles for multiple companies and you're gonna get these texts, you're gonna get these emails, people are gonna be reaching out and I mean it's annoying but it's helpful. Um also, there's Vivian. I think that's the website that you can get on. And it compares um, different companies at one time. Also, I say join different travel nurse groups on Facebook. A lot of them have a lot of fluff in between. It's hard to find one that actually posts jobs these days. But um, you can kind of get in there and see what people are posting or what they're saying they're getting to give you an idea of if what you're getting is worth, you know, the trouble. And also, when it comes to pay, to be honest, it's individual basis. Everyone, what everyone needs is different. So what I need to make to, you know, make a profit is different for others. Like you got to look at your home bills. You got to look at the cost of living and where you're going and things of that nature, taxes. It's like a lot of factors that go into it. So really it's like a, you have to do a cost analysis, like literally sit there and be like, you know, okay, after taxes, I'm going to get this. I got to pay this at home. I got to pay this here. And, you know, what is worth it for you? That's just the best way to say it. Um, other updates, um, we know we bought, I bought my condo. I showed you my kitchen renovation. I am still in the process of renovating and getting my house the way I want it. Um, so basically, I, my kitchen's renovated. I've got like my furniture, everything's unpacked. I've done like my cleaning and organizing to a certain extent. In both bathrooms, I got the countertops done on the vanities, but I do want to paint the um, the cabinets and the drawers and change the um, knobs and stuff on the cabinets. Haven't got to that yet, um, but I will post that. I actually got a personal request from a friend, like, hey, we want to see renovations. So I got y'all when I get my stuff together. You will get the full tour, and I will update y'all as I get stuff done. Another thing I'm working on, I have like a little enclosed like patio area. Uh, I want, I'm changing the screens to windows so it can actually be closed in um, and not be affected by the elements as much. And I want to do some painting and stuff out there, put the little grass wall, I got the little furniture for it. So it's going to be like my little personal lounge. So I'm excited about it. It's just been a process. Um, I bought my windows from Lowe's and it's been um, a journey getting them installed. I have two out of three installed and the story behind that is just ridiculous, but it's going to get done. So I'm looking forward to all of that. Um, before I end this video, I just want to tell all my healthcare workers and people in general, please take care of yourself. Self-care is important for the mental health and we are in trying times right now. And if you're religious, stay prayed up. Outside of that, get active, get some sunshine, and find some hobbies. Me, personally, I have the most randomest hobbies. You'll be like, what? If you, like, know me, you know that I just be doing some stuff. So, one of them, I've been trying to learn how to skate. It's okay. I can skate. I've kind of got the backward skate together, but I want to be, like, roll bounce, you know? So, I'm working on that. I also do pole. Pole dancing is just a fun way to build self-confidence and build strength and just get movement going on in a fun way because I do terrible with weights in the gym. It's just not my cup of tea. I also like yoga and I like reading. And of course, we all know about my plant babies. Uh, I may do a plant tour eventually too. I want to get some more. It's also kind of hard maintaining them as I travel. I've had a couple, you know, not make it out here. Um, I had to fire my the help, my friends. Who are supposed to be coming to water them, but we're gonna get a better schedule this time. So, anywho, thank for what, thank you for watching. Thank you guys for sticking with me. I know I'm not consistent, um, but you know, rock with me when I do post. All right, you guys have a good day. <laughs>